if you can have these people <laughs> having fun in the midst of a war that they said it, that, that there's a there's a war for them and they're having fun you can you can have some fun too back again with another video this antonio higgs aka miss escaping the matrix so i got a little quick little update something I just want to talk about for a little bit and it's about basically just detoxing from like the social media i think i've spoken on it once before in a video like way way back when i, I know y'all see that george go out and go go vote make sure you go out and go vote and make sure you are active in the community i've followed me on my social media i've mean, said it today whenever y'all watch this it's the 21st of may so it's it's primary day so you go go out be active get out there and participate in your right to let your voice be heard and get some of these clowns out that's in there or writing the candidate you want to have written in there but anyway and it's actually kind of coincides with what I want to talk about. And, I, and it's something quick. It's the premise of it is, is just the detox from what you're doing. That's why I'm making this like real short and sweet before I get on to something longer, another topic with AI or whatever. But because if your social media is anything like mine, like mine is kind of loaded up because you probably don't do some of y'all don't do some of the stuff that I do. Like I, I'll get out and do stuff in the streets. I, I volunteer. Not a lot of the YouTube, I still volunteer. So I have to be aware of ongoing issues within the community, stuff that our government is doing, state stuff, federal stuff. And of course you have all the wars taking place across the world, stuff happening here at home state, where uh, the protests and stuff taking place on the college campuses and then people come, that's not even, so they get mad at the people that's not even, they say people are infiltrating the students on the college campuses, but they're not getting mad at the people that's is counter protesting, mean mugging, and beating down the kids is actually on the campus that their tuition is paying towards. So, and it again, it's like I can get amped up just talking about it. But all those things are taking place here within this country. And it's like if you got so much of this stuff consumed in your head, it's like when do you take a time to take a break? Like that, and that's really what it comes like detoxing from social media and detoxing from all the stress and drama that's just out there. Because it's, I mean, it's a lot that's out there, and it's like you really got to pull yourself away so you don't lose your own form of, of mental health. Because I mean, what is it? Study like twenty is twenty two point eight percent Americans that's affected by mental health. That could be from depression. That from can be, can be from I'm like from anything. I mean, it, it could be a number of reasons why people suffer from mental health issues, from bullying, financial reasons, relationship problems, or just borderline, just straight depressed. But if you have so much of that negativity and stuff inside of your feed, it's like how do you ever escape away from it? And all those within the activist community, it's like man, I understand the struggle and things that's taking place, and I understand all of the the chaos and turmoil that you're seeing online, and how one group of people. Oh, not one group of people, it's the multiple group of people are just being slaughtered. And every time you make a voice, they're calling you a name for actually wanting to stand up for those, those innocent people that's being killed and those children that's being killed. But man, y'all gotta take a break. Like realistically, I'm saying that to say, you gotta pull yourself away from it so you can have a, a state of peace, so you can continue fighting that good fight. Because if you always surrounded by nothing but all the turmoil and the stress of the world, it's like that's going to degrade you and cause you to start having your own issues. And it's like you don't need to be suffering from any like mental health issues. Like, I mean, well, outside of stuff that you can't, you know, prevent it, you got to take medication for. But when it comes to self inflicted stuff, meaning like taking on all the stress of the world from social media and then reading the comment section, because a lot of stuff that we all do as a toxic, as a toxic addition, getting online and reading social media in the comment section. It'll, it'll set you off especially with the whole uh, I will say this with the whole Diddy thing that came out it has been going out for years but as you see the videotape and then you got people jumping in the comment section actually defending this man it's like and that's why I made one of me make this video because it's like you you get upset and frustrated at the state of this world and, so, and how people respond to certain things that you know they should be against but for whatever reason they're choosing not to be and stand with the people that's causing and inflicting the harms and then kind of just blowing past the victims themselves. So, yeah, I, I just want to make this real quick just to give everybody a, a, a word, just to say, get away. Because, I mean, like I said, I do it. And I actually go knock on people's doors and stuff. And I don't participate in protests as much as I used to because, I mean, this I'm one of those people that I'm a filler. So when I start taking on the problems with others, like it really hits, it really hits me and drains me because I actually put myself into their shoes. Because I mean, I went through my own, y'all heard my story before. If you haven't, go back and listen to my old videos. It's, I've been through a lot of stuff in my own personal life. I mean, I use it on my campaign drill when I was out running for office. So I can, I can empathize with people because I kind of know what they, they've been through. 
to a degree because I, I mean everybody's situation is, is totally different but I know some of the things some of the hardships and what it means to actually suffer I don't care if it's from loss of life loss of income or just being homeless I don't care what the situation is I mean I've been there done that and I know what that pain feels like so it's like you got to really pull yourself away from all of that breathe go have some fun like really go have some fun because I mean at the end of the day if you can have these people <laughs> having fun in the midst of a war that they said it that, that, that it's a this a war for them and they're having fun you can you can have some fun too like you really can go out regroup get yourself p- pick back up get chocolate waste you're gonna get chocolate waste i don't encourage it but that's what you're gonna do go you know go do what you gotta do go have some fun go to the park breathe some fresh air go chill out with your homies don't even talk about the issues because that's you still you still perpetuating you still bringing it up don't talk about the issues. talk about something totally different play some video games do something just do something different than being online arguing with people all day every day so yeah i just want to hop in here and say that y'all Take care of your mental state. Because like I said, it's a lot of people already suffering from mental health issues. And then actually, if you actually care about some of the things that are taking place across this world and within your own country and trying to understand why you got a government over here fighting for another government overseas and dumping loads and loads of money over there, but you can't even get some of the stuff taken care of over here to help you out. Yeah, it's it's going to destroy you. So y'all be safe. Y'all actually get out, go get some sun. Sun is coming out now. I mean, you can probably tell from this backdrop. I ain't turned no lights on. You'll see no lights in my backdrop. The sun is coming out now here in Georgia and it's in the heat is coming. Out. I'm a summer person. I love the heat. So I'm loving it. I'm going to get out more. Y'all see how my tech behind me. I'm, I'm inside. I work remote. So I'm inside all day, every day, but I am getting out to get some more sunlight. Cause it, I'm going to pause on it before I say it because you need some vitamin D in your life. So pause on that. No diddy. So, uh, yeah, y'all be safe out there. Detox. Clear your mind out before you come back in and start arguing some more and fighting a good fight. Because I do want y'all to fight that good fight. But I also want you to take care of your own mental health. So, y'all detox. And again... You know, if y'all thinking about getting content creation started, you want to get a podcast going, I do have a book. I'm going to keep promoting it on all of my stuff. I have, do have a book. It's on my website, ptgtv.online. It's the ultimate technical guide to creating a podcast. It is on my website, ptgtv. It's Paul, Tom, Gary. Yeah, Paul, Tom, Gary. TV on dot online. So y'all go check it out. And if you buy it from my website, now it is on Amazon, it is on Apple iBooks. It is on um, Google Book, Playbook, Google iBooks. Google Books, iBooks, Google Books. But if you get it from my website, you can schedule an actual one-on-one with me and I can walk you through and help you out with anything in that book that you got a question on. So y'all go check it out. And like I said, go, uh, you ever thought about getting some content started? It'll help you out. It's, it'll get you going from beginning to the end. But y'all be safe out there. Love you all. Genuinely do love you all. Take care of your mental health. Take care of your friends and family that's around you that you're close to that actually care about you and you care about them. Make sure they're good too mentally because there's too many people suffering from mental health in this world and they're exiting out of here too early in life because they're choosing to exit out of here because of the stuff they're suffering through. So y'all watch out for your peoples. Again, love you all. Be safe. Matrix out. I wonder who made you so, so-